You guys heard uh, Etuan and Michael. Uh, we waved. Um, I guess just you know, it's, it's clearing some space. Um, here's the option because the trade deadline is always tricky with how people feel, how people think about things, the way you your emotions and your nerves a little bit. So here's my thought right now. Young guys who haven't experienced it, this is part of what the NBA does. Like, you make moves, you make trades, we've talked about being family, we're still connected, but there are things that happen on the business side of it, so I have to understand that. Because of that happening, if you want to go back to the hotel, right, and you're like, I just need to clear my head, I just want to chill and you just need to get your mind right, there's a bus that'll go back to the hotel right now. Other than that, we're just going to do a 30-30, all right, you know, 30 in the weight room, 30 on the court, get some work in, and then head out. If you have any questions, you can always bring it to me because I want you guys to know as we're moving forward how this looks. All right, let's bring it in. Here we go. Come on, come on. What we got? The thing that, that happened with the trades and the wave and what happened. So I just want you guys to keep understanding all of this part being part of the business, but we still have to do our jobs when it when it comes to that. Um, so great job getting our work in, great job communicating, great job having fun and having the energy to do it. So we come in for shoot around tomorrow, <coughs> get our regular work in, be ready to go tomorrow. All right, sure. let's go. Good, good job. Good, 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 good work. Good day, man. Good hey, day. Family on three. One, two, three. Family. This happens every year. Trade them. Washington. Just that, just like that. And we're wait. Who got traded? Oh, KP Washington? for Dinwiddie. Or Dinwiddie and one, uh, probably another one. Another one. But they also just did, uh, and we still got how much time left? Just got 24. We got 24 more minutes left, so it's, it's a lot of time. Right now. We'll see. I bet you. Nah, that's it. That's it. No, it'll be like one more. Yeah. It probably won't be a big one, though. Without further ado, I'm going to introduce you guys to our speaker for today, uh, Orlando Magic basketball star, Brother Wendell Carter. My name is Wendell Carter, from Atlanta. I play for Orlando Magic now. Uh, I was drafted to Chicago in what, 2018. Got traded here last year. I uh, think I found my home, so that's a little bit about me. I saw it as a good opportunity you know, give back to the community kind of start that ideal of, uh, you know, being able to be that face of the community, you know, on and off the court. I was just here like six years ago. Like I'm only 22 years old, so, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, this is a perfect opportunity for me to like, kind of tell y'all like, yeah, I play basketball, like that's that's my, my job. But on the other side, like I'm a black man in this, in this world right now. This group, you know, I read up on them and, you know, I feel like it, they were doing a really good thing for this community. And I feel like I wanted to be a part of it. Oh, so DK Metcalf was like, yeah, oh! How tall is he? I think like 6'4". Oh, yeah, he's like, right, he's probably like right here to me. And ever since I uh, graduated from high school, I've always told myself like, okay, I want to be a great basketball player, but I also want to be a great person. I got this platform now where a lot of people are looking at me and things like that. So I just feel like it's a great opportunity for me to at least, you know, try to help someone. Did you find out? I like that. Go with my So imagine James. We are at Cleveland All Star Weekend, uh, going through the media circuit, doing some fun photo shoots, good interviews, getting to see everybody. So, we're having a good time here. We'll see you all tomorrow game night. I think if I go to white first, I'm going to mess up, so I think I'm going to go with the blue around it. But really, just trying to get the foundation done right now. What's up guys, here's Franz on my first All-Star Weekend. You know, just got here doing some media, uh, doing the media circuit. Just really enjoying, really cool to see everybody that's coming out here and all the people that, that are making this such a great time. I'm really enjoying my time out here.
cracking, y'all. You know what it is, man. We here at NBA All Star, man. I see what I got on. Black, red, little outfit. You know, it's just something like, man. I ain't really want to. I ain't want to. I ain't want to hurt anybody's feelings there with my outfit. You know what I mean? I ain't want to. Ain't want hurt nobody's feelings. So I just kept it real simple, real light. How excited are you to be at this All Star weekend? Man, I'm super, super excited, man. It's a blessing to be able to be out here, especially with two of my teammates. So that, that is super fun. And, you know, I'm just here to you know, have a good time. Just you know, do what I do, do what I love the most, play the game basketball. Franz, you got this one, bro? Checking out. These boots are in good condition. Yep. If they are, what you do if, if they are? Bro? Putting that sticker on that I'm having a great time, bro. <laughs> Put the sticker on that book, man. Captain Underpants. Oh, yeah. Those are great reads. Kickoff. My favorite, though, all time kickoff. TK Rondé Barber. Well, mine were German, so y'all wouldn't know about it. What's your call, bro? Gasson vom Dach. Gasson vom Dach. Uh, but also, I also read Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Okay, um, Franz? Yeah, 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 that's what culture. That was actually, honestly, my favorite part of my favorite series. It's supposed to actually. He's a me. I read every one of them. Diary of a Wimpy Kid was he. What's up, guys? Good point. You know, getting to be around everybody and all the other rookies and sophomores were all pretty cool. So being able to have a good time, enjoy it with my family. Uh, you know, first All Star weekend. Uh, you know, especially not a lot of people get to come here at all in their career. So just looking to enjoy it, have a good time with it while we're here. I mean, it's been really cool. A lot of, a lot of media, a lot of meeting with people, which, which has been a lot of fun. And um, you know, I'm really excited to, to get to practice and you know, play, play with these guys. Yeah, man, we out here with Sweet Franz, Sweet Jay. Um, it's good, man. We just been having a good time. Season can get real stressful. I think everybody here just, you know, obviously we want everyone to perform well, but I think we just here having a good time, man. Fans. Welcome to Clorox Rising Stars. He's a 6'3 guard who was the first round pick in the 2020 NBA Draft. From the Orlando Magic, Cole Anthony. 6'5 guard who just posted his first NBA double-double. From the Orlando Magic, Jalen Suggs. Hit it, Josh. Tell you what, right now they are getting up and down and getting wow. sucks. Oh, this is a pace that I can get behind. And look at the two teammates celebrating together, Suggs and Anthony. Bernice this offense to Cole. Anthony. Get back and the floor. Oh, sucks. Oh, the Suggs hits both free throws. It's over. This game is over, and Team James Worthy comes back to go to the championship. Big game, James. We got this. Uh oh. And Cole oh, Anthony does uh -oh. a flip, and he misses the free throw. Getting it done for the League of Shadows. Yeah. Listen, to Isaiah. Buddy. Listen, to Isaiah. Trying to be over here. Questionable foul call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just to talk about the overall experience and just how you know, great it was to be able to participate in that. First of all, heartbroken. We were supposed to win that. That's on me. Um, but no, nah, that was a super fun. Great, great experience, great environment. Uh, the crowd was energetic. Uh, we were all having fun out there in the court. Uh, and everybody got to make some plays. So, uh, you know, that was very fun. You know, just look forward to, you know, getting back here next year and years to come. <laughs> I think he probably was a little nervous, man. I mean, that's a, that's 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 a, it's a nerve wracking experience being Cole out Anthony here. Told me to miss so he could dunk it. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's he, he a delusional rook. I ain't say that. But um, yeah, nah. I mean, it has to be kind of a, a mind boggling experience just to be out here. You know, I think and they gave us kind of a heads up before the game, like yo, how many people are gonna be watching this event? So shoot, I'm sure all of us was a little bit nervous. And now, Team Barry. 
He's a 6'10 forward, all the way from Berlin, Germany, by way of the Orlando Magic, Franz Wagner! Nice dive by Mobley to Wagner. All right, here it is. Wagner, he hits one, Team Barry He's comes back his first and down, wins Grant. the championship. We out of here, let's go home. And there it is, Barry's team takes home the title. It was real, yeah. That no, was good. How does it feel to make the uh, game-winning free throw when they championship game? Uh, it was, it was cool. Um, I asked them if I could shoot it uh, underhand, like like Rick used to do. I think it was really cool how we came together in such a short time, and um, yeah, we had, uh, definitely had a lot of fun. It's a dunk contest, so you know, tell us how you got involved in that. Oh man, you know, I, I used to have a little bounce back in my day, day man. So, you know, I, I could pick it out, I'd bring it out of the reserves and, you know, try to do something. Watch the dunk that I did since I was a young kid. So, it's just something I've dreamed about being there for, for years and years and years. And now that I'm just blessed to have the opportunity to answer, I was like, man, might as well. Yo, I might as well do it before these legs get out. AT&T Slam Dunk competitors. Forced to be reckoned with, this explosive guard is having a breakout sophomore season. From the Orlando Magic, Cole Anthony. Out a lot of money tonight, fellas. You'll be okay. I don't know. I might not recover from this one. You want to hold me down? So I'm like a GoFundMe or something? <laughs> GoFundMe would be appreciated. Overall, this experience this weekend, how was it for you? Dope, man. Look, I, look, I, look. Next time I come to All Star, man, my goal is to be All Star. So hopefully I can do that next year. But, you know, I'm, I'm going to work as hard as I can to, to achieve that goal. But, you know, we're going to see. Only time will tell.